Welcome back to another Wood Shaped video. So good to have you, especially for this part two of the modern farmhouse table. And I was thinking that I was going to be able to get this into just one more video, basically, so a part one and part two. But, you know, it turns out there's a lot of footage, there's a lot of steps in making this table. And it turns out we're probably going to be more like three, which, you know, for a series, that's, that's not bad at all. So I appreciate you following along and, and you know, being a part of this, this table build. For this table, we're going to be doing the, the aprons, the supports throughout the table, so the middle supports and um, all along the edges, and then also the milling of the legs, as well as the hanger bolt, and then also the T-slot for the, the bolt to go in there on the opposite corner. So yeah, I appreciate you uh, being a part of the video today, and thank you for watching, and I will see you at the end. Out here in the shop tonight. I just did a, a resaw of this. It was about a two inch wide piece of oak. So I'm resawing in half so that I can make aprons for the tabletop. Really nice pieces here. Some really cool grain going on there. And so, yeah, resawed using my bandsaw. So that went well. Then I took it over to the jointer here. So yeah, take a look at these four aprons here. Look how awesome those look. Nice and square, ready to go. So I've got five and five eighths for the length and the width of the leg will be five and a quarter, so. so five and five eighths. Once I had the uh, locations for the legs marked, I went ahead and took my Makita track saw and went ahead and cut the corners. You have to cut corners on some projects, right? And then I quickly took my Lee Nielsen chisel and cleaned up those corners as well. I did my aprons earlier, but then I needed to obviously cut those down and shape those to form the actual frame for the table. Basically puzzle it together at the corners as well as the, the length of the table and also the, the middle supports. I chose to go with the Craig jig.
once I had all my aprons cut to length, then I it was basically rinse and repeat at that point. Craig jig on all the corners, join all the aprons together, and then I finally did a pocket hole uh, to attach the aprons to the actual tabletop. That's what I'm finishing up here. So next it was on to uh, cutting down the, the oak timbers. These are reclaimed. These were basically what made up the, the four legs for the table. Once I had those down cut to length, I moved on to milling them, get them to the proper dimensions. My process was somewhat different for these oak timbers as far as milling goes just because they were so rough. I didn't want to run them through the jointer first because I've had issues where it's broken off my carbide inserts. So I went ahead and cleaned them up on the planer first, then took them to the jointer, then back to the planer. Then it was time to start measuring out and figuring out how I was going to attach the legs. And so I marked my locations for where the hanger bolts and uh, as well as the uh, the T-slot hole would go. Once I had all the holes drilled on the aprons, I proceeded to make my holes in my legs for the hanger bolt as well as the, the T-slot where the T-slot would need to end up to be lined up with the, the holes on the aprons. So for the hanger bolts, basically you take two nuts and then you turn them uh, opposite directions, one clockwise, one counter and then you basically tighten it and it makes a more or less a, a, a single point for an attachment on the bolt and then you just keep the, the nuts tight together while you turn and you just turn clockwise until the bolt is uh, threads or all the way down into the leg. Oh man, did it. Got to go the reverse now, there we go. go. Boom. Stay there. In order to start cutting with a T-slot bit, a T-slot router bit, you must do a pilot hole. This is basically just a hollow hole where the bit can go in and then you can actually slide and make your slot. really hope you enjoyed the Modern Farmhouse Table Part 2. I actually had a lot of fun with those techniques. 
somewhat of a unique way to attach legs. Typically the corner legs are done kind of a diagonal or I opted to have two, two joining points on both sides of the corner and um, that's something I came up with on my own. If you want to give it a try then go for it and if you have any questions you can by all means send me a message. But uh, thanks for sticking around and watching part two. If you haven't already subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you get updates for when I post future videos. Part three is going to be the finale. So definitely stick around and stay tuned for part three. Keep it locked in here on my channel. Check out my other videos. Check out my suggested videos. Until next time, remember to go shake some wood and we'll see you again soon.